All right, get ready, get set, go! You register with your solicitor, your solicitor re receives the buyer's solicitor, your solicitor sends a contract to the buyer's solicitor. Fabulous. You check that your solicitor has sent the contract to your buyer's solicitor. One of our solicitors forgot to send the contract for six weeks. We now add in an extra bit that says to the estate agent, has the buyer received the contract from our solicitor? Because our solicitor said they'd sent it and the buyer hadn't received it. It happens. Make sure it doesn't happen. Check the buyer has sent search monies to the solicitor. Check they've done that within five days because Beyonce, if you liked it, you should have put a ring in it. Get on with it. You know, put some money in there. Put some skin in the game. Start buying this place, please. The buyer solicitor raises the searches. Searches are stuff like, oh, rate, you know, mining searches, environment, radon gas, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. Tell me some stuff about this house. Are the searches satisfactory? If not, why not? What can you do to solve it? Don't rely on the buyer solicitor to solve it. Figure out if there's anything that you can do to solve it. Is there any indemnity policy? Is there anything you need to provide? Do you need to go running to the council department in person to download something from the right people to then provide back to your solicitor to provide back to their solicitor? Do not assume their solicitor is going to do this work. Do not assume your solicitor is going to do this work. Do not assume the estate agent's convincing team is going to do this work. Or if you do want to assume that, you will have minimum one in three fall out of bed if not one in two fall out of bed, and that ain't no fun. Then they raise um, the search is satisfactory or they're not. Fabulous. They then raise inquiries. The inquiries are based around the contract that your sister has provided. Are they satisfactory or they're not? Fill out fixtures and fittings form. Don't forget not to say with white goods included or that's just going to cost you a thousand pound. Ready? Stage two. Buyer applies for funding. Great. You should have done that within five days, mate. If not, why not phone the estate agent every single day? Have they applied for funding? If not, why not? Have they applied for funding? If not, why not? Have they applied for funding? If Do you get the gist? If not, why not? Have they applied for funding? Do you see this? I mean, seriously, you are like push, 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 push. It's ridiculous. This is not your job, but this is your responsibility. And it, I employ someone to do this, which I shouldn't need to do, and I have to. They pay for the survey. Mate, I agreed when I sold you that property, you were buying that survey within five days. If not, why not? I agree when I sell you that property, you are buying that property in nine weeks and you are exchanging in nine weeks and you are completing in 10. If not, why not? Now, my team think it's nine weeks and they're quite right to think it's nine weeks. I know that the law was going to slip a week because there's something around buying a house that scares people because it's a large amount of money. There's always a tiny bit of slippage. I don't think, I don't think we've sold one house on time. It's normal but still keep pushing and you behave as if you assume that they are going to deliver. You have told the estate agent that you will only sell them that house on the condition that they pay for the survey and they apply for the funding and they pay for the searches within five days. They buy it within nine weeks and they complete on it within 10. Has the estate agent, I'll catch up with you in just a moment, has the estate agent actually told the buyer that? If not, why not? How can you confirm that they've told the buyer that? Because they say they have, but they don't, and they don't communicate. You make sure the estate agent tells them, and you make sure your lawyer puts it in writing, because the estate agent wants the sale. The estate agent usually is a salesperson. The estate agent is not a conveyancer, and so the estate agent's just like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, Susanna, you're just being fussy. No, I'm not, absolutely not. So you've got to make sure doubled up that it's the estate agent and your solicitor double confirming that those dates have been agreed if not you ain't selling it to them you've also checked their situation are you ready keep going and then i'll come back to you the, uh, the survey happens and the survey better happen fast if not why not if not why not if not why not we will be speaking to the estate agent three to four times a week to chase that survey happening and eventually and do not assume that the estate agent every time you speak to the estate agent they then chase the buyer I just don't think that happens. Therefore, I will make sure my team talks to the estate agent three, four times a week to go, when's the survey happening? 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 You get my gist? The whole thing is like this. It's ridiculous. But it's reality. Make it, you know, we have a 90% conversion rate because of this blooming stuff. And that probably saves us thousands and thousands of pounds. You find they get the final form for, for Excuse me. They get the formal funding offer. Yay, well done. Find out who it is, find out what deposit is needed and find out if there are any retentions. OK, because there might be. If so, can you work with them to help fix that problem? Their legal team work on the offer. Brilliant. The buyer satisfies the conditions. They get insurance on the property. They, the funder says they're ready. You clear the house out. 
your buyer, you and the buyer sign the legal contract to buy and sell and they transfer the deposit to the solicitor. How about you remind the estate agent to remind the buyer to transfer the money in advance? Because has the buyer got experience of selling or buying houses? Does the buyer know that usually their bank has only got 25 grand maximum that can be transferred at any one time? Or will they rock up to the bank and then go, oh, I can't buy it. I can't buy it today because I don't know how to transfer money. I mean, I'm used to transferring hundreds of thousands of pounds in my tracksuit with my little hoodie on, but norm normal people aren't. So why don't you just help your estate agent remind them to transfer the money in advance, like a week in advance, please? That'd be terribly nice of you. Because it's just trying to iron out all the problems. You hand the keys to the agent, you take all the utilities, you write to your council tax, your gas, your water, your electricity, or if it's a meter, you um, pay it up to them and you hand it over. Remember, everything should be them, but it's utterly your responsibility. And that's the difference between maybe a 50 to 60% conversion rate or a 90% conversion rate. <sighs> Questions? Mm -hmm. Can you say that all again? <laughs> <laughs> and I do it in that tone just to show the e emphasis. You've got to push.